everyone. Yes. Great start. Morning, everyone. So we are going to be vlogging today because we haven't vlogged in a while. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the weather's really shit, so we're not really outside much. We're just kind of inside. But we're currently playing a game. What are we playing? Um, head game. I have to like hold her head when she runs towards me. And I'll do it to you, Mum. Great game. And get down one. All right, I'll do it to you first. Ready? <laughs> I'm going to do it now. No, do it again, do it again, really. I'm going to do it to you, Mama. You're going to do it to me? Yeah. Get them, ready? <laughs> 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 Ready? I'm sliding. I'm just sliding. Harry, come here. <laughs> Harry. Look at the state of my <laughs> Hello, darling. I do this to us, Mum. They've had some chocolate sandwiches. That's why their faces are so dirty. Harry! Yes, Jesus. I, I haven't been able to even sit down yet today. Right, so you, where's your cup then? This is mine. You want it in this cup? Yeah. It's like a doll cup. There you go. Harry, get out of the freezer, please. Jesus. <laughs> Here you go. Right, I need to go upstairs and finish the painting in a sec. You're a shining star. You are. The kids have already had the Nutella this morning. <laughs> so they're covered in chocolate. I'm just going to quickly show you the painting. Ah, oh, shit, in hell. What do I just step on? There's always something on the bloody floor that I step on. Right, let's turn the bathroom light off again. So I've started painting my bedroom. Oh, hello. And as you can see here, this is the wall that I've done. It's called um, Dulux Chick Shadow. So I've done that in here. And I've just started on this wall to cover up all the lovely drawing there that Holly has done. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment, but I think I'm going to run out, but I've got one more paint um, pot coming tomorrow, so I'm just going to do a little bit and then hopefully my one will come tomorrow and then I can actually finish it off finally. But it's just like a lovely like grey colour. It's the colour I wanted originally, but when I first, hold on, when I first moved into my house, my um, housing association. Oh, my housing association um, awarded me some paints and the, the, I only had like a small amount of options and obviously at the time I was kind of desperate to just decorate and get in. So I took one which was like polished pebble but it's like a slight blue colour. Also have done, right hang on, follow me fucking everywhere. I've also done Alfie's room. So that was like the colour originally, obviously marks and everything on it and that's the colour that I'm doing all in here. Do you like it? Good don't have much of a choice but yes that's what I'm doing what are you doing Mom. 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 Mom, can I have the candles to set? well can you not break it Because I finished it now, Mom. Now, Mom. Hello, neighbor's gonna grab it more quickly. Quickly. Hello, neighbor. Yeah, hello, neighbor's gonna grab it. Okay. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> Look at me. Do you know what, Holly? Just had a thought. I wouldn't actually have to buy all this paint if you hadn't have actually drawn anywhere in the house. Okay, Mom. I'll go and see this. Well, that's why I got you a whole thing of. Um, Paper, didn't I? That white paper that I got. Yeah, I know. Mom. And that's why I got it you in the first place. You could draw on that, and instead you draw on the bloody walls. Yeah, because it looks like paper. It doesn't, but it's not paper, darling. It's wall. But it's, but it's not like this paper. It does. I know it looks like paper, darling, but it's not. It is paper. It's not paper. Yeah, it is. It's not. It it's massive is. Paper. 
It's not paper. It is paper. No, it's not. So I'm not a painter and decorator, but I think I've done quite a good job on it so far. What? You have to do it all the way around because I don't have somewhere else. I'm just doing these two walls down. I don't want it to be too dark. Um, but yeah, so that's the colour that I've chosen. I'll need to go. Harry, can you not bang in that, please? Mom, Jesus. Mom, Mom, I have to do it from my bed to your bed. Yeah, I'm just going to do it on this wall, darling. Yeah. Um, to your bed to my bed. Yeah. Yep. Yes, that's what I'm currently doing. Um, but I need to kind of go over the edges with like white paint because yeah. obviously I'm not a painter decorator. Yep. And I haven't got any of that tape stuff. So, nope. Harry, don't pull the fucking blinds. Jesus. Hmm. I will be, yeah. yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Right, should we get downstairs then? No, no, I've finished the wall. Okay, I'm trying to, but you're like <laughs> jumping everywhere. I know. Right, I need to move everything out of the way. Oh, so this is how far I've got. I've got the littlest bit of paint left, so I think I'm just gonna probably leave it there and just go back tomorrow right the last straw for me i want to go downstairs now because the last straw is watching harry pick screws out of my um wardrobe should we go downstairs come on then Let's go downstairs. No. we'll quickly sort your goggles and then come downstairs with us okay all right let's go downstairs Let's go downstairs. Mummy needs her inhaler because I can't actually breathe. Yay! Yay! There we go. I've lost my phone somehow. Always oh, fucking. Oh, it's down there. Oh. Why don't? Can you stop playing with the eggshell out of the bin, darling? Please. No, just leave it back. It leave it in there. Holly, don't play with the eggshells. No. Please leave them in. There, that's disgusting. Don't know <laughs> she's flashing my ass. Holly, please stop it. Stop, please let go. So, <laughs> you're nuts. Don't. What are you doing? Looking at what? <laughs> Kids are on the trampoline, even though I'm pretty sure it's going to rain in like two minutes. Um, my lounge currently looks like this. <sighs> you know, just one of those days where you just cannot be bothered and you have no motivation to do it. That is me today. Um, I think it's mainly down to knowing that I, I'm wanting to decorate and I can't really do both at the same time. So I think I'm going to leave the decorating for now until tomorrow and just kind of blitz the house before tea. What the fuck is the time? Sorry, I can't help but swear. Where's the time? So the time is, okay, nearly half three. So we'll be having dinner about half four. Then hopefully the kids get to bed early tonight. I doubt it, but we can hope. How? 
so now that Harry's having a little nap um, and I'm just about to do dinner, I need to give Holly a quick bath because she's currently covered in Nutella. And anyone who says to me, you need to keep an eye on them. I was in the same fucking room. I just, for some reason, don't see shit like that. I mean, she's having a great time, I suppose. But, um, yeah, it can just happen in your nose. I was too busy fucking scrolling through TikTok. Great. <laughs> so, Harry's woken up from his nap. Happy as ever, of course. Um, and I just noticed on the side, when I was doing dinner, I'm just cooking dinner, I noticed that um, some eggs were missing out of my egg box. And I said to Holly, I was like, have you moved them? She's got a tendency of like, picking them out and drawing faces on them and making them her friends. And um, she was like, oh, there's one upstairs, there's one in the bin, there's one there. And I was like, can you get them for me? So I've just had to go hunting around the house for fucking eggs with little faces on. So that was fun. Oh, she put your bottoms on. I need to go sort Harry out because he's just miserable. Yeah. Huh? I've got crazy hair. Hello, come on. What's up? Come on. Oh, no. Mama. It's okay. Oh. Why do I have a feeling that my children are generally just like natural birth control people? So my house is still fucking shit. Oh, I haven't even touched it today. Um, I wish I did now, to be honest. You know when you're like, oh, I'll do it later, and then you just forget, and then oh, by the end of the day, you're like, fucking great. Um, kids are still whinging. You watch your little pickle, darling. I love you too, darling. I love you. You're gonna come sit down and watch your little pickle. What are you doing? Are you giving baby a bath? Yes, you are. Why are you lying? She's having a sleep. Oh, okay. What is stuck to my foot? Okay. She's always up to something. Um, yeah, my house is just absolutely fucking trashed. And I can't really find the motivation to do it, to be honest. Um, God, I don't know how these mums do it, man. I don't know how they fucking do it. Especially all these ones on YouTube that are just like, I mean, like, yeah, I clean my house. And don't get me wrong, when I go for it, I fucking go for it like I'm a bit of a clean freak really but then there's some days I just don't touch anything um you're just probably I don't know two days out of seven I'm just like no no not today and I don't know how these fucking YouTube mums do it like they just like are always pristine don't shout and like always have a like immaculate fucking house or do they just push it aside just to make I don't fucking know but either way yeah my house is fucking immaculate you need to stop. No, stop it. Oh, fuck. I can't go. Oh my god, I'm so close to just calling my dad and be like, please come over. I can't fucking do it. My hoodie, yeah, sure. Why would you pour the milk everywhere, Holes? If you're thirsty, Holly, you put it in a cup, not a bowl. No, because I've got to clean up your shit. I feel like all I've done in this vlog is just fucking moan, but it's just been one of those days. I'm just feeling really fucking fed up today. <sighs> I'm not feeling like my usual bubbly self. I'm just feeling pissed off at everything. Because all my kids do is just wreck my fucking house. I've spent the whole time painting, knowing full well they're going to get hold of pens and just run it anyway. My walls. <sighs> oh my God. But it's fine. It's cool. I'm just gonna pack it in and just fucking clean up to be honest because if I don't do it, who else is? So I'm gonna start cleaning up. <coughs> so Holly and Harry were just on the trampoline <laughs> and um, Holly was like, Mummy, my. I don't know what it is. What got stuck? Holes? Your blanket thing for your doll? No. For her cozy. T dozy. Sorry, her cozy dozy bear. She got her like blanket thing stuck in the tree in the garden. Anyway, I went near it to go get the, um, the blanket out with like a broomstick. Ouch. And a broomstick, because if I'm a witch. Um, and there's a wasps, loads of wasps in the tree, so I assume we've got another wasp's nest. Just in time for summer, hey? Um, fucking great. Oh, today's just going one to the other, and obviously I'm absolutely terrified of wasps. You've all seen me with a fucking hoverfly. Imagine a wasp. Um, so Harry was stuck on the trampoline, because I refused to go up. <laughs> fucking mum of the year. So I was shouting Alfie down, like, Alf, come help me. And he was like, Mum, I'm in my boxes. And I was like, please just come downstairs and help me. 
and he wouldn't, so I had to go in there. Holly, why have you got the broom inside? Are you a witch? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm going to clean the lounge now and settle you both down for bed, yeah? Good job. I feel like all I've done in this vlog is just fucking moan, but it's just been one of those days. I'm just feeling really fucking fed up today. I'm not feeling like my usual bubbly self. I'm just feeling pissed off at everything. Because all my kids do is just wreck my fucking house. I've spent the whole time painting, knowing full well they're going to get hold of pens and just write on it anyway. My walls. Oh my god. But it's fine. It's cool. I'm just going to pack it in and just fucking clean up, to be honest. Because if I don't do it, who else is? So I'm going to start cleaning up. So it is currently... Um, 10 to 11 Holly and Harry have only just gone to sleep and I plan to like do loads of cleaning but I haven't been able to do any so I'm going to have to leave it for tomorrow um, I haven't really done much today um, apart from painting which I'm going to be doing some more tomorrow hopefully um, but yeah I feel like today's a bit of a write off didn't really do much wasn't in like the best of moods today um, because I feel like everything was kind of just on top of me um, especially my house at the moment um I suppose we're all in the same boat. I think everyone, a lot of parents are feeling the same. Like, it's just kind of building up and building up. Well, I hope people feel the same anyway, and it's not just fucking me. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go to bed, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning everyone, um, I am shattered this morning, Holly and Alfie were up at uh, 5 o'clock, really odd, um, I woke up in Holly's bed hey. with Harry, but luckily Harry slept in for a bit, so I came downstairs with Holly with Holly and Alfie, um, Alfie's now gone back to bed I believe, um, Holly's now asleep, it's just the weirdest morning, anyway, good morning, you say hi. Oh, you beautiful boy. I'm just going to have my third coffee yeah. because I am shattered. Um, yeah. Oh Do you know what I mean, though? Like, she doesn't sleep yeah. in the night, so she makes up for it in the morning. Yeah. But if I try and yeah. wake her up, she, like, really yeah. kicks off. So I'm like, oh, do yeah. I really want the battle of that? I don't know. Mm. Hold on, Harry. Just got to do this. Hang on. Also just bought some peppermint oil. Um... Just a random fucking thing to do at seven in the morning, but yeah, I bought some peppermint oil because I also I think I've got a wasp's nest again, um, but I think it's like in the tree because there's like really hundreds of them. So I bought some peppermint oil to spray on it um, because I'm just terrified, and it's near the kids' trampoline, so I worry that they're gonna like throw something in the tree and they're gonna like you know get aggressive, whatever. So. What are you doing? So I've had my shower. Yay, I need a bed wet though to wipe my stuff. Um, and I, last night, asked on Instagram for people to send me their assumptions of me. And some of them are just great. So I'm gonna read them out while I do my makeup. Cause why the hell not? What else have I got to do? Cool, so I can't actually find my moisturizer that I was using. So I'm just using a bit of a Body Shop's body butter on my face. Cause why the hell not? You only live once. Alright, so that's my moisturiser done. Now I'm going to move on to my makeup and start reading some of the uh, assumptions that I've got through. So I'm back. Although it looks like I've just kind of like done my, my uh, moisturiser. Um, I've been sat on my ass for the last hour getting Harry to sleep. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read the assumptions that everyone sent me. Um, I got a lot through, so I won't be able to read all of them. But I've just kind of picked out... Not ones that I prefer, just ones that um, I've seen first and quickly uh, screenshotted. So let's get going. Just put my foundation on my hand. This is why I need the bloody fucking look fantastic delivery to arrive because I bought some new foundation. Anyway, so. 
the first one I got through was you wish you had a partner but scared to because of how it could impact your baby's lives. Um, in a way, yeah, like I'm really cautious of um, what a partner could do. Like, because although I'd like to meet someone who's like really welcoming, accepting with the kids, but I don't want it to be like a negative impact, you know what I mean? Because my kids have been with me for so long on my own. It would have to be someone that's like literally near enough bloody perfect and more than likely I won't find that so um yeah that's probably true I bloody love this foundation it's better than anyone's I bought that Estee Lauder one that I showed you guys ages ago um that I used in like my little makeup thing but I just I mean I like it but it's too light and it's too like dry whereas this one collection illuminating touch just the best foundation ever I don't know why anyone doesn't just all use this and it's cheap as fucking chips too I think it's literally like I don't know five quid less than that but I need to get some more to be fair. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas because I'm going to be um, doing some more painting today. So I'm going to spend the whole day in my pajamas. Fucking judge me. Go on, do it. I'm joking. Right, the next one that I got um, was you use sarcasm to cope when you're stressed. Um, definitely, yeah. I definitely see. I definitely use sarcasm and humour to kind of as a coping mechanism, like in the day, like. So, I don't know, you'll notice in some of my videos, like, most of the time when the kids are doing something bad, I'm kind of making a joke out of it instead of stressing over it. Because I found, like, in the past, I ripped... Don't get me wrong, like, it depends what it is, you know? Like, the fact that a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of months ago, I painted my um, living room walls because Holly had drawn them, and the same day she drew on them again. Yeah, I wasn't so happy about that, so I didn't really make a joke out of that. Like, oh my goodness, what is that about? I, yeah... Oh, I'm fucking happy. Um, but anyway, yeah, most of the time I do like just laugh about silly things because I think it's better to find the humour in things uh, than just be stressed, if you know what I mean. Because stress isn't good for you and it ages you, and I don't want that. So now I'm going to use my tart. I think it's called Shape Tape. Yeah, Shape Tape. And I've got it in 12N, 12 neutral, fair neutral, sorry. So I'm going to put that under my eyes to hide my uh, eye bags. That's better. I'd say this is probably a brightening concealer. I don't particularly like a brightening concealer, but I've bought it now. I prefer ones that are just like coverage, if you know what I mean. Although it is, it's like basically full coverage. There we go, look at that. And the next one is, you have a good supportive family. Yes, I definitely do. I mean, even when I was pregnant with Alfie at the age of 17, I couldn't have wished for like a better supportive family around me um they've always supported me no matter what i've done in my life they've always like just i mean don't get me wrong like i find like i get judged quite a bit on like life choices or um i think everyone feels like that though i feel like i get judged quite a bit but support wise yeah yeah like my dad has been absolutely incredible like when me and the kids were homeless he took me into his home um he always like pops food around when I need it, like goes to shop for me. He's just, my dad is my rock basically and he's just absolutely incredible and I love him so much. The next one is I only brush my hair on wash hair days. Yeah, pretty much. I don't really brush it otherwise. Yeah, just on wash hair days I brush it. I usually do it in the shower, which I've heard is bad, but I've got like a shower hair brush, so I don't know if that's okay. But yeah, I usually just brush it in the shower after I've conditioned. And then that's it for the next three days. And then I just kind of, you know, curl it and then whack it in a ponytail. Right, so that's my concealer done. Also, I've run out of powder. I bought some new powder. I had this um, Too Faced one, but it was like a travel size one. And I bought a new one, but like I said, looked fantastic and fucked my order up and perms being bastards and not delivering on time. So it's like two weeks late. So at the moment, I'm using like this, which is the L'Oreal True Match Minerals uh, powder loose powder but it's not actually powder it's flour is that really fucking odd but it works pretty well to be fair quite grainy but it fucking keeps my foundation on look at that why do you need powder when you got flour just dab it the shit on there we fucking go i need to stop swearing so much And to be fair, I mean, I think it looks better with flour than any bloody powder, to be honest. 
because also it's got the netting so what I do is push the flower in then it all collects like at the bottom jobs are fucking good in the next assumption that I got was you adore your kids but sometimes you just wish you could have some more help definitely that is completely true um some days I find it really really hard and um yeah, there's been a, there's been a few times like during this lockdown and everything, like me begging for my dad to come over um, because it's just been really overwhelming. Like, especially when I'm on my own. Like I've said before, it's like you know having a fucking wolf pack, and I'm the bait, and I've got no one there to kind of like back me up. So like with this homeschooling thing, I'm sure like mums out there who are still finding it hard. I'm not saying it's any less hard um, because you've got a partner at home, although it probably is, but. But the fact that like, if you said to your kid, like, right, homeschooling now, like, no, I don't want to do homeschooling. And then you've got someone else there that's like, no, you listen to your mother. Like, I never get any of that, like, listen to your mum. Apart from my dad's here, but most of the time they're really good when they're when he's here. It's just when he's gone, he fucking harass the shit out of me. But, um, oh, hello. But yeah, I've got no one there to kind of, like, say to, say to my kids, like, listen to your mum or do what your mum says. So that's really hard. So uh, yeah, that's definitely true. I wish I could have more help, to be honest. If, to be honest, if I actually had the money, I would probably get a nanny. No lie, no shame in saying that. I'd probably have a nanny and a cleaner, like two separate people, if I had the money, of course. Right, that's the flower on. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, right, I'm gonna put some bronzer on now. Boop, boop, boop. Got my uh, Benefit Beach Babe on board palette and this sort of thing but Harry's like digged in it with his fucking fingers whoa it's gone a bit dark in here there we go I can contour my face and the next one is that um you are happy being single that is true yeah I am really happy being single like for years I wasn't like I kind of went from I know it sounds bad but I don't care I kind of went from one relationship to the other so like with Alfie's dad, I was with Alfie's dad, obviously I had relationships before that, but I was like with Alfie's dad, then from that I went into a relationship when I was pregnant with Alfie. Um, and yeah, lots of like, Jesus fucking, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, it looks really bad on camera for some reason, it doesn't look actually that bad. Anyway, I'll sort it out. Um, but yeah, so I've always kind of been in a relationship, I haven't been single for years, and I've been single now for about... Well, just over a year now and I love it I just kind of have control of my entire life and um, yeah although it would be nice to have someone there it's kind of you know like like I said like supporting wise and like and all that but I'm just not ready yet and I'm just I like the fact that I've got my kids all to myself I like the fact that I can kind of just yeah have full reign of my my whole life so yeah, I am enjoying being single, so that is definitely true. So the next one's a bit of a juicy one, because I did tell you off on Instagram, I said give me some juice, do you want the juice, I'll give it to you. And someone asked me, you stalk Alfie's dad on Facebook. Haven't we all done that with our exes though? Like I don't do it much now, only because obviously we're not together, I'm not interested in what he's doing. Um, I don't have any feelings there or whatever, but I have looked on there before just to see, you know, just to have a look. Because sometimes for me, it's not so much him being an ex, the fact that he's kind of got away with just having like a free reign of his entire life. And I'm ha you know, I've had to brought, bring up his son on my own for the last 10 years. And um, yeah, pisses me off, but sometimes I have a quick look, you know, nothing wrong with that. I'm not ashamed to admit it, we've all done it, haven't we, with our exes? And if you haven't, there's definitely something wrong with you. So that is my bronzer. For some reason it looks really awful on camera, like I've like fallen down like a clown. Um, doesn't look that bad on camera. I'm gonna try and put a little bit of my flower on it. There we go. That's better. I don't think I am gonna put any blush on today only because my fucking bronzer is on so bloody dark that I don't actually need it. Okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe just a, woo, woo. There we go. So the next one is uh, someone. someone's assumption of me is your body count is over 20. No, it is not. It's not over 20. It's lower than 20. I'm not gonna say how much it is, cause obviously, I mean, can I? 
Does that look a done thing? Can you see how many you've had? I don't know. Oh, fuck it. Do you know what? My body count is 11. And I'm 27. Some people might be like, oh, yeah, slag. Or they might turn around and be like, oh, that's not bad. Not bad for your age. But yeah, my body count is 11. And um, to be quite honest, I ain't planning on getting any higher, to be honest. But there we go. That is my... Uh... Oh, shit, I've just realised my dad's going to watch this. Sorry, Dad. Oh, I forgot to show you. I got this in my glossy box. It's called La Splash. Like these little lovely brushes. And this one is amazing because it's so thin. Like as you can see, it's so thin. And it does my um, eyebrows amazing. So I got it through in, the, in my glossy box. Lovely, look at the difference. I wish my brows looked like, like this all the time. So the next one is you don't care what people think about you. Very true. Very true. People can call me a bad mum and, oh my God, you neglect your kids um, and all this shit. But it doesn't bother me because it's not the truth. And someone on Instagram, she might watch this, she sent me an amazing uh, like quote that said, um, their opinion is not your truth. And I think that's so true. And that's what I've been thinking about for the last few weeks. It's just like, people can say whatever they like about me, but it's not what's true. So why should I care and try and defend myself when I know it's not true? So um, yeah, definitely true. I don't care what people think about me, to be honest. I couldn't give uh, two shits. Yeah, I much prefer this eyebrow over this one, because this one's higher and it makes my face look weird. Anyway, my brows. The next one, uh, the other, next assumption is you wouldn't mind another baby once a little two are older. So I've said this before, like, especially when I've had conversations with my sister, like, I wouldn't mind having another baby, but it would be in the future, and it would be, like, when I'm married, so I actually know that I'm going to have some support there, um, and someone that I've been with for a while. So it could mean that I could have a baby when I'm, like, I don't know, 35 or whatever, which doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, I probably would, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, true. Wouldn't mind a baby when they're little too older. Also, if anyone says about the powder, and says, why are you using flour instead of, uh, instead of like baby powder? I haven't actually got any baby powder. That's why I'm using flour. No one judge me. Flour's going on. Here we go. I hope my bloody order comes soon. I can't fucking believe that. Why take so long in delivering a fucking order? I mean, I know there's a pandemic kind of going on. I sound fucking selfish, I'm not. Um, but it just pisses me off because I don't seem to be doing anything. Like, it's not so much look fantastic, it's fucking Herms. They're just, like, not replying to any, like, uh, messages that look, look fantastic have sent them over it. Um, they don't give a fucking rat's ass, really. They're like, oh, where's Laura's order? I don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck where Laura's order is. Right, so that's basically my base, now I've got to move on to my eyes. And um, the next one is you treat your children equally. Um, do you know what, I probably don't. I love them all the same, um, but I probably don't because Alfie is kind of free reign because he's older, so Harry probably gets the most attention because he's a baby and he's cute. So he probably gets a lot more attention. Um, Holly is probably one that gets in trouble the most. And I find that, like, if, um, if Holly is, like, being horrible to Harry, I'll... Fucking flies. Sorry. <laughs> fucking hell. They're ruthless, these are my hours. They just come near me, like, hee-hee. Where have they gone? Oh, well. Um, yeah, so when, like, Holly does something to Harry, I'll obviously tell her off and, like, discipline her for that. But if Harry does it to Holly, I'm like, oh, come on, like, he's really little, he doesn't understand. So... Do you know what? I probably don't eat, treat them all equally. Um, and that's not intentionally. But, um, no, I probably don't. And I'm not ashamed to say it because uh, we have no judgement on this child, do we? <laughs> so I had a lot of these ones. Um, so I've just um, got to read out one that says, you're an amazing mummy. And that's so sweet. Like, a lot of people say have said that to me. Like, you're an amazing mum. And to be honest, I don't really think I am. I mean, I lose my shit daily. And... I don't know, sometimes I sit down and be like, why the fuck am I a mum? Like, some days I just don't feel maternal whatsoever. And I'm just there like, fuck, say, what have I done? But there's other days when I'm like, oh my God, I love my kids, blah, blah. It's just on the odd day when I feel like that. Um, 
Um, but yeah, I would say I am a good mum, I think. And the reason why I say that is because Alfie is 10. He still tells me he loves me every single day. He tells me everything. Uh, he says thank you for every single dinner that I make him. And it goes to show, like, no matter how much I lose my shit or, you know, get annoyed about things or tell them off, they still love me for who I am. I think that's the biggest thing. So I must be doing something right. And the fact that Holly tells me she loves me every day and Harry is just so loving. They're all just lovely, loving children. And, um, yeah, I suppose I'm doing something right, maybe. I wouldn't say I'm an amazing mum, but it's nice for people to think so. I'm going to answer this one only because it's from someone that I know and I thought it was hilarious that I like it up the arse. <laughs> no, I don't. No. And there's a reason for that. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to leave that there. There's a reason why I don't like up the arse. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I had a few, I had a few of, um, I just fucking put my hand in loads of iced coffee. Um, I had a few of these assumptions, um, which is that I hate um, the kids like biological dads. And that's not true. Like, even Alfie's dad, I don't hate him. Fuck off. Fucking me. Sorry. Um, I don't hate him at all, and I don't really hate anyone. And, um, yeah, so that's not true. I can see why a lot of people think it, because obviously what he's done is not right. And the fact that, you know, Alfie doesn't get to see him, and I've got to kind of do it all on my own. I can see why people assume that. But, um... No, I actually don't. And I've never fed Alfie any wrong information. I've always made Alfie very aware that he's a good person. Um, and I haven't ever tried to paint a picture for Alfie. I want him to do that on his own. Um, so, no, I don't hate him. And I'd never spread that hate if I did have any onto Alfie anyway. So, and um, in regards to Holly and Harry's dad, um, no, I don't hate him at all. Like, we've had our fair share of, you know, troubles and that over the years. But no, I don't hate him. Like, I'd consider him one of my really good friends. Um, because we just get on really well. Like, he's just a really good friend to me. And, you know, like, when, they, when he dropped the kids off on Sunday, he bought me some flowers and some chocolates for them to give me. And it's just, like, little things like that. Like, it's nice to know I'm appreciated. And it's, like, vice versa as well. Like, yeah, it's just nice. It's nice to know that although we're not together we can still get on as really good friends he's still welcoming my home he still treats me to mcdonald's most times when he's over so um yeah not true so that's all my assumptions done like i said there was like loads and loads so i only picked a few um i need some lipstick because i look pale fortunately i'm not blessed with like naturally like nice colored lips they're just like pale as fuck and also I've got to do this for my Estee Lauder because Holly snapped it, so I've got to kind of dig in there and get some out. But like I said, if Herm's just fucking, you know, did their fucking jobs and delivered when they should do, I know there's a pandemic, but <laughs> if they just did their fucking, oh, oh dear. <laughs> If they just did their fucking jobs, then I'd have my fucking lip liners, wouldn't I? But I don't. Anyway, so that's my uh, assumptions. Yeah, so good ones. Yeah, it really overwhelmed me actually the amount of t amount of ones that I got that were just like, "You're an amazing mum. Like you're so strong," and all this. Like, I yeah, I definitely consider myself a strong person, especially during these fucking times. I mean, Jesus Christ, I kind of look and think, "How the fuck did I do that?" Um, or doing it at the moment, I guess. Um, but yeah, but like I said, I formed a bubble with my sister because she came over just recently. So luckily we can like go to our house. We're going there this weekend. So that'd be quite nice. It's nice to have a bit of, you know, different scenery than just these fucking walls in my house. I'm so sick of, I've actually had to paint them. Because <laughs> I'm so sick. Oh, well, it's starting to rain. Okay, well, I'm going to go um, chill out for a bit before I start cleaning up. It's me. We just went to the shop and we got some goodies, didn't we? Like Dirty Dunkers and what fucking not anything to keep my kids happy and snacked throughout the day. And you. Say hi. Hi. Harry. Say hi. Bye. Bye-bye. So we've just been to the shop. We've got some goodies just so I could give them snacks throughout the day just to keep them occupied while I try and uh, clean. Dirty Dunkers, sweets. Sweets. The fucking lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
and Kit Kats, yep, anything to keep you happy. Blue crisps, yep, yeah. that's what you wanted. So basically I'm just giving my kids shit during the day so I can clean the house. I don't normally do that. Anyway, so I've just cleaned, I've cleaned the lounge. I've got to clean upstairs, like I said, because it's just a mess. I think it's because I've been decorating. I've just got everything everywhere. So, oh, I've got an itchy belly. You having crisps now? Yeah, I'll take the packet then. Don't, no, not the whole packet. Look, take one bag out. Don't stand up. Why would you stand on them? <laughs> Holly, don't! <laughs> what is it? Yeah, but now, Holly, you've probably broken one, which means they're going to go stale and you won't be able to eat them. <laughs> what child does that? Just see the packet of crisps and stands on them. Please tell it's not just me. Oh, hello. But yes, yeah, so I have to go clean my bedroom and I'm wanting to like move it around. So where my bed is at the moment, you probably see my other videos, um, I'm wanting my bed like under my window then both sides i can have my um bedside tables and like lamps and whatever not that i have any lamps because fucking arrows broken more but anyway that's the plan today all right i can't oh cheeky boy yes that's what i'm gonna do also i'm cleaning my windows today because they're grubby got my carcher ready to do it um what a fucking interesting vlog what yeah. Yeah. You're going to help me do it. Can you give that to Harry, please? Yes. Thank you. Did you say you wanted some milk? Yeah. In a, in a cup? A glass, whatever. A glass, whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, Harry, careful. Hold on. Boy. Oh, but yeah, my house has never looked such a fucking mess. Um, and I've been here like two years and it's just, honestly, it's horrible. Yeah. Why do you keep repeating everything that I'm saying? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to clean the windows as well today. But I yeah. don't know what to put. What can I put in this? Did you put something in it? No. I thought you did. No, you just clean it. Yeah, but I thought you could actually put liquid in it, couldn't you? No, you can't. There's my mama. Hi, mama. I can see you through the camera. Can you see us? Mom, can you see us? Can you see us, mom? Good. Can you see us through the window? Wow. Holly's currently got hold of a little water gun and is spraying it at everyone and around the house. And if I go near her, she squirts it on the floor, like in the kitchen, in the hope that I'd slip. <laughs> what the actual... Oh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've changed my walls, by the way. Colour. It's like a lighter purple. So it lights up my room. Stop! <laughs> Stop it, Holly, please! <laughs> no, please, darling. <laughs> Holly, you need to stop it, darling, because that's going to go on the floor and someone's going to get hurt. Holly? Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a cup of tea and a damn jammy dodger. Fine, stay 
out there then. My windows look amazing, by the way. Don't ignore that. Um, they look really clean and like shiny. And I can actually see through them. Because the kids, like when it was hot, they were getting the, the hose and like spraying the windows. So it like made them really dirty, basically. But fuck me. Sorry to swear. I'm not really. There's loads of nests, like uh, spiders' nests on my windows, and I think it's quite common. Did you just get that water from the from the dirty pool? No, please. No, Holly, please. Stop it, Holly, please. Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, Holly, yeah, so, not Holly, there's loads of spiders' nests, so when I was, like, doing the, um, you know where they have, like, the little egg sacs in, like, the thing, and then there was, like, loads of spiders in this one thing, like, full of, like, cobwebs, and every time I'd go near it, they'd, like, fall out, Ooh, horrible, honestly, it was gross, and they're still there, because I haven't got the heart to, like, move it, what? No, Holly, please, stop it! Holly, no! Stop spraying me! <laughs> <laughs> Holly, get down now. What? No, don't spray the sofa. Are you joking? Are you joking? Stop. God, people call you feral, Holly. They're not bloody wrong, I tell you. They're not wrong. Are they? Huh? Well, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Stop. Holly, stop it. Right, if that gets wet, I'm going to be really angry. No. Right, stop it. Right, give it to me then. Give it to mummy then. No, you have to now. I've asked you to stop. Put it in the sink and close the door. You're not allowed it now. You're going to come up with mummy and help me to clean the bedroom? I've got to clean my bedroom. And my paint's arrived. So, um... I'm gonna do some more painting because I stupidly, instead of getting two, instead of getting five litres of paint, I got 2.5, thinking like, oh, I'll be enough. But no, so I've got another Dulux uh, Chick Shadow is the colour that I'm doing like basically all around the house because I love it. And I'm so sick to death of just seeing white everywhere. Um, Holly, did you spray my wall? <laughs> did you? <laughs> Harry's crying. Did you spray Harry? No. Put it in the sink like I asked. And did you spray my wall? No, Holly, please. Stop. breathe now oh sorry Harry oh, sake. Harry I nudged into you darling you're fine oh for goodness sake what's happened Holly give me the gun right me and Holly and Harry are gonna go upstairs and start painting my bedroom do you know where the other paintbrush is oh I think I've got one hose wait there somewhere I don't know where it is. Oh man. Oh man. We must. Um. We must. No, no, we must. This. This. We must. This. You, me, you, me, you, me. Sure. You, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah. It's me, you, me, you, me, you. And should we share it? Yeah, you, it's you, me, me. You. <laughs> me, you, me, you, me, you. Okay, should we do that? Yep. Is that a plan? Yep. Well, let's do it then, yeah? Uh, midday bath because while I was painting uh, they were quite quiet downstairs and then I found out that Holly got hold of the Nutella didn't you 
again, I don't know where I've got to learn my lesson to actually put it in a cupboard instead of on the side. Because what she does is get my um, my coffee tables, like these little ones that my nan had. Um, she puts it in the kitchen and climbs up and gets it. Don't spray me. No. Okay. I don't mind you spraying my foot, just on my face. There you go. Woohoo! Um, but yeah, so she's got all Nutella and basically covered Harry in it, head to toe. Um, <laughs> Fox. By the way, yes, we're having a midday bath and then I'm going to start moving the rooms about because like you said, you saw in the, when I was painting, I'm doing it to like the level of the bed at the moment because I say I need to move it out to be able to get to the bottom. And of course, I'm not prepared at all, not putting anything down on the bed because I'm too much of a, a uh, professional for that. You know, when you're not professional, you need all the gear, like the stuff to go over things. I don't need that. When you're that good at painting, you don't need anything to um, save your furniture. What are you doing? And I do have a roller, but I just find it more therapeutic with a brush. I don't know why. It takes me longer, but it means I get more time on my own painting. So, win-win. Right, I'm going to give these guys a bath, and then we're going to start changing the room around. Yeah. Harry's out. He's got his lovely baby crown. Oh, he looks so cute. He looks so cute. Oh, you don't want the camera on your face? Okay. Right, now I need to get Holly out. You're going to sit here for one minute? Yeah. Uh, you sit there for a minute? Uh, Wait there, then. Mummy's just going to get Holly. Uh, I knew he'd act like that. Harry! I can get me You sure? Just be careful. <coughs> Towley! No, oh, independent lady! Whoa! Holly! You can still Seriously? You can still see me! Okay, so I had actually planned to um, clean my bedroom and sort it all out, but I actually physically can't. Take one guess of why. Um, so, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother, to be honest. I'm not even gonna bother today. I'll have to try again tomorrow. Holly, where are you? Oh no, she's quiet. Holly, where are you? Holly? She's obviously done something. Otherwise, she wouldn't be being. Holly? Holly? Oh, she's on the trampoline. Aha, uh -huh. okay, cool. Don't want to jump to conclusions, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to be doing any more today. I'm just going to make dinner um, because I'm starving, so. <sighs> God, it is fucking hard work when you're on your own. I've got no one to like amuse them whilst I do anything. So yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to clean um, or rearrange my bedroom. Like I had planned actually, and I was really excited to do it actually, but oh well, um, they're gonna go on the trampoline while I make dinner. So thankfully all the kids are playing nicely on the trampoline today. I feel a bit like meh because I set myself like a target to clean um, my bedroom and like move it around and I just haven't done it. Because I just haven't got the energy or willpower to do it and it just made me feel shit now. I, have, I wish I hadn't set myself that target today. I'm better off just waking up and just doing what I can instead of like setting myself targets because I never seem to do them. Um, but oh well, I'm pretty sure we have got a fucking wasp's nest again. Because they're everywhere at the moment. Um, but I've got some peppermint oil coming to spray like all around the doors and stuff so they don't bloody come in. Um... But yeah, it's probably because I haven't really I haven't really eaten today. I mean, it's four, just turning four. No, sorry, just turning twenty to five, and I haven't even really eaten today apart from like snacks. So, because um, like with the kids, I'll give them breakfast and like lunch and stuff, and then dinner. But I just kind of snack in the day. I don't really um, eat properly, so that's probably why I'm feeling so shit. To be fair, so I'm gonna have my dinner early and make the kids their dinner early. We're gonna have hot dogs, and I'm probably gonna have fajitas. To be honest. Um, that's what I'm going to do and I'll see how I feel after that if I want to clean or not. Um, probably won't do upstairs today. Because usually I just do like upstairs one day and then downstairs the other. But um, but yeah, they're playing nicely so I might just um, have something to eat quick. So Harry's just woken up from his nap and you're dancing, aren't you? Yeah. Is it good fun? Yeah. Kiss? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah? I love you too, darling. My kids are so full of love. Darling, boy. Oh, that, that's not very loving. Right, so now that I've had something to eat, I actually feel a bit more motivated to go tidy up my bedroom now and like try and move some things about. Maybe do a bit more painting. So that's what I'm going to do while the kids are amused, dancing. You're having a bit of a party, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, is it good fun? Oh, do you want me to put it back on for you? No, because I want this one. Okay. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I feel a lot better now. Now that I've had something to eat. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I'll do it tomorrow. I don't want we well, well, don't grab the lamp. Why? Today I broke up. Yeah. Yeah, today I'm Right, to so, do. your bed needs to go somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah, I... Because it's not going to fit in with mummy's. Yeah. So where are we going to put your bed, baby? And we have to move on your bed to Harry's bed and go and put over, I think. Great idea. You're the best! Yeah, because I got great plans. You always have the best plans. Yeah, because I do. They always put the best plans ever. Yeah. So, so I'm just going to hold this so it can't go anywhere. Hurry, my little hurry. My bed is coming. I'll oh, help you, Mum. I'll help you. Thanks, darling. Oh, because you Lift that bit up. Oh, thank you, darling. It's You're okay. literally the best. <laughs> Bye, that's it. Out of the way, Harry. I want to sleep on it. Not yet, because Mummy's got to move it, okay? She's doing her bit, so this is what it looks like currently. But Mubby's got a hoover and everything, haven't I? Yeah. So that's what we're probably doing. Then it's time for bed. So I think we're going to end the vlog here because I've got bits to do. But I'll probably film a cleaning video soon if you want to see that. Give it a thumbs up. Give this yeah. video a thumbs up if you want to see a cleaning video. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, very random, boring as usual vlog. I'm just trying to go out and do anything. Um, but we hope you enjoyed it, so please subscribe if you haven't already. I want to do my video. Okay. Now guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a hair, thumbs up, click on the and turn and kiss you. See you guys later. Bye! Time for a...